Hey y'all and welcome to a coffee couch combo. I'm your friend, your sister, your freckle-faced cousin, Georgia Brown, and I am so glad you're here today to chat with me about my college journey. There's going to be a lot of videos about college, of how to navigate that season through friendships, through relationships, through your spiritual walk with the Lord, partying, finding community, anything you could think of, I want to talk about it with you. I just finished my college season. I graduated in May of 2021, and I earned this alumni sweatshirt, so I'm very, very grateful. And so today, I just kind of wanted to share with you how I got through it, where I started, how I picked my school, and now here to graduation. So just a few minutes, I'm going to just talk about it, and I want you to know My college is not endorsing this video or anything, so yes, I have my Middle Tennessee State Cup, and yes, I have my sweatshirt on, but this is no means me trying to say, go to my school. I want you to go wherever the Lord has you, and a lot of you listening may already be in college. You may have had that awesome, very expensive piece of paper already on the wall for years before. But anyways, wherever you are in your journey, if you're in high school, (laughs) between semesters in the middle of one, I'm just so grateful that you're here with me. So I'm really excited about your journey, and I'm really grateful that I get to share a little bit of mine. So, cheers. It all started back in high school. And it comes down to that junior year and you start thinking about where are you going to go to college? And so we started to look. My parents and I started looking. I loved music, but I didn't really know what that meant for a career or what I could go further than high school. I'd been singing a lot and writing original music, but I never knew that songwriting could be a degree. So I just thought maybe music education. I don't know. Do we really know what we're doing at 17? Like, honestly? If you do, you're awesome. I was still figuring it out, and I still am figuring it out today. So really, in that season, we just were trying to listen to the Lord. My prayer life wasn't where it is now, but the Holy Spirit was still guiding me through every decision, which I'm so grateful for. So I toured Belmont. We came over to the Nashville area, and, you know, they had a music program. It was great, but I just didn't feel like that was my fit. So then I thought, okay, well, maybe I'll check out the University of Arkansas, and that was, you know, 30 minutes from my house, and and I toured it, and I was like, yep, this is not it either, and then we did some more research, and my parents found Middle Tennessee State University, and this school was about 30 minutes from Nashville, and so we planned our next trip to go on a college tour, and man, I can't even tell you, like, the peace that I felt whenever we started on that tour, It was, you know, I was nervous. You know, it's college. It's something new that I've never been through before. But I felt like I was supposed to be there. And it didn't kind of make sense. I mean, it was a public state university, nine and a half hours from home. And I knew no one there. (laughs) But the Lord definitely knew what he was doing. He he was really like giving me a soft spot for for this new place. And really what got me was all the posters. I remember walking on campus and the tour guide was so sweet and all the kids just were so normal walking around on the campus. I was like, I feel like I could be myself here. So if you're about to go on a college visit or you're in that process, how do you feel when you're walking around the campus? Do you feel like yourself? Do you have peace? Because he is our prince of peace and we are to follow peace. We are to follow him. So if you feel peace... Obviously, it's not going to be like, I'm not nervous at all. There's still those little nerves. But if you feel like this deep down inside, I I need to follow this. That instinct is there for a reason. So I'm walking around the campus for the first time, and I'm seeing these little posters all around about different college ministries that I could be involved in. And I was like, oh, my heavens, this looks amazing. I would love to get involved with these different things. And I wasn't going to come out and say it, but that's the little conversation I was having in my heart. So there were little nuggets along the way that I was trying to trust the Lord in. And I filled out the application. And turns out in the South here, if they don't have your major that you're wanting in your home state, you can go to a state around it, touching it, 
and you can get in-state tuition. So it's called the Academic Common Market. And I am so grateful that that was available to me because in Arkansas, they did not have songwriting. So I got to go to Tennessee as like a tennis a Tennessean, but I was not a local. <laughs> so that was really wonderful and such a blessing. And so the Lord will provide. He will open the right doors and he will shut the wrong ones. So y'all don't be discouraged in this journey because it is quite a journey. Truly knock and see if that door opens to you. Ask, <laughs> seek. Oh, he was, so, he's so good. And he is going to see you through your college journey and through this decision. And so before I knew it, I was buying true blue merch and headed off to college and I will never forget the drive from Arkansas to Tennessee we couldn't even see out the back of the car because it was so full and we were crossing the bridge right into Memphis and there's like the pyramid like the Bass Pro Shop on the left and there's the big sign that says welcome to Tennessee and the river's under you and I just remember looking out the window and quietly saying to myself God I just want to be the best version of myself. And my goodness, what a fresh start. I'd never moved before in my entire life before college. And the only person I kind of knew going in was my roommate a little bit. We, She was from Kentucky. I was from Arkansas. We were both meeting in Tennessee and starting a new journey. And we, we lived on campus. And then I lived on campus a second year. And I got involved in school, and it was amazing. And I didn't walk it perfectly, but I'm here to tell you that you can do your college season with the Lord. And the world will tell you, oh, get it out of your system. This is your time to live it up. But if I've learned anything, and I've talked to a lot of people about their college experience and just walking through the campus. Whatever you put into your system for those three, four, five years of your life, it's what's going to sustain you for the next 30 and 40 years of your career. So what healthy and holy habits are you wanting to make? And so we're going to talk about that in all sorts of other videos. But that was something I thought about is, I want to be the best version of myself. I get a fresh start for the first time in my life. I've been going to school with the same people since first grade. And so it was just beautiful. I had the most amazing community. It was hard at moments to navigate things with friends and boys and homework assignments and staying up super late and getting up early. But that was the name of the game. And so how can we do it well? Oh, I learned so much and it was so fun. Oh. And then my journey kind of got cut short because of the lockdowns and then I had to go back home. And so at the end of my junior year was when we had to be sent back home. And y'all, the funniest thing was trying to do a vocal performance class over Zoom. So that was quite hilarious. <laughs> And then senior year, I did mostly online and I worked on campus for two years. I was a tour guide, which was a blast. And so we're definitely going to have a video about jobs in college too. And then here we are. I graduated in May of 2021 with a degree in commercial songwriting with a minor in classical piano. And it was a joy. And I'm so grateful for where the Lord has brought me. I never thought that I would have been there. That I would have left states that I could be a Christian at a public university and do it well. I never thought that I would get a degree in commercial songwriting and continue with classical piano. And I never knew that my heart would grow so much for the Lord and ministry. His ways are so much better than ours. So we truly need to, in all our ways, acknowledge him and he will make our path straight. And he will show you the way to go. And so trust him. Ah, it's been so fun. So that is a little recap of my college journey. And I have my degree hanging over there on the wall. And it was so worth it. And so friend, I'm really proud of you. I'm so excited about where the Lord has you. 
I know some days it can be frustrating or you just want to get to the finish line or you just want to get to the weekend or just turn in that paper or I just want to know where I'm going to college. I just want to get a good grade, all those things. But I want you to know when I look back, yes, I worked hard and I got good grades and I'm going to be honest, I had one or two C's. It was hard, but those were like my law classes, so it's okay. And he was my favorite professor, if I can be honest with you. (laughs) But the biggest thing that I learned was I learned a lot about myself. And I had to make choices. I had to choose if I was going to eat, if I was going to exercise, if I was going to go to class, if I was going to read my Bible, if I was going to go to church. And so... The Lord uses this in such a unique position because you're kind of a kid, but you're kind of an adult, but there's just enough freedom that it's okay to make safe mistakes a little bit. It's a safe environment. And so, man, it's just a special time. And it makes me so happy to think about all the memories. And so God has you right where you are for a reason. And wherever you are in your education career don't despise these humble beginnings and don't try to run through it faster just enjoy right where he has you look down at your feet and just be where your feet are and just continue to pray about every little decision so i'm very excited for about all the videos we are going to have And so stay tuned, make sure you're subscribed, and y'all, it can be done because I did it. I'm done. That piece of paper is coming, and you're so loved and so valued. And so from one sister to one cousin to one friend to another, cheers to this comfy couch coffee convo. I love you, and I'll see you soon. Bye.